has all that more robust. I like that term, robust. Two more gators being added on now for pink. I'd I'd like to see an expansion and very nice scan here to check if an expansion is going down. An expansion is going down for a Protoss player and uh, not exactly the best time for the scan. Pink just now uh, putting up his expansion. The probe is there. You can put down the the nexus now. And it's like Crooks now. I mean Pink. Why am I calling him Crooks? Pink continuing to reinforce it. He has a Raven out to spot any Dark Templar. This probe should put down Nexus. There you go. There is the Nexus. This factory just chilling like, hey guys, I'll just stay here. <laughs> I leave the war to you. There goes the plus one armor. Blake is now being researched. We shall make these stalkers all the more mobile and nimble. And one Zealot just checking out what the army composition is. Pink has a huge army lead right now, however, uh, one thing that I believe, I mean, one thing that could help this turn player right now is maybe Siege Tanks. Siege Tanks can really, really turn the tide, especially when you're turtling. A couple of Siege Tanks up here, maybe one here, can take out an entire Protoss army and, you know, turn the match in your favor while you are uh, macroing up. Pink now just waiting for the right time to attack. Plus one is about to finish and his robotics base halfway. A little over halfway done. Nice defense here. These stalkers are just there to prevent any possible uh, counter attacks or drops. And man, I'm not sure what else Spoon could do aside from going for a siege tanks. And we have even we now even have Templar tech coming out and uh oh this one this one marine baiting this one single zealot to his death but that won't work we have a lot of idle SCVs here for Spoon they are here just to uh, repair the bunkers but you can actually just let send them back mining and if you do see the attack that is when you send those SCVs to the bunkers and oh no we have blink now for uh, Pink being able to blink up the ledge so he can do a lot of damage here but instead he's going for the orbital command he should blink out right now and get the heck out of there even losing the observer. Uh, Pink could have done a lot of damage to the mineral line though. Uh, yeah, if I were in that position, I would definitely go for the mineral line. That orbital command basically had no use. So it was just sitting there and gathering energy. Oh no, here comes Spoon. He wants to push out, but there are a lot of zealots, a lot of charge slots here for Q Pink. And here comes the point defense drone. They'll be able to. Uh, <laughs> Minimize the damage and oh there are a lot of Templar here and the feedback on that one single medivac but not storm not exactly research so pink is gonna be pushed back here. Quiet cat. Pink is gonna be pushed back here by Spoon, Spoon pulling off every single SCV and when my why is my cat very noisy? However, Spoon has absolutely no minerals. I mean almost no mining going on and here comes one zealot. He's gonna go to town on this mineral line and uh, Spoon can actually just... Wow, it looks like Spoon is going to go all in right here. He... <laughs> I don't know, he just clicked the panic button because he does see that he only have Blink Stalkers here for Crooks. However, he has warped in a lot of Zealots, but it looks like the map control now belongs to Spoon. But he has very, very weak units right here. If he sends all these Zealots in... And wow, yeah, little ping over there. These SCVs are doing nothing at all this medivac though can can barely heal the entire army he, he's not producing any more medivacs he's just producing medivacs one at a time and our protoss player is banking on a lot of minerals though it's like we have colossal tech now coming out for our protoss player and i think our protoss player is very much in the lead right here he has everything going though he is mined out in the main. He does have an expansion. I would like to say another expansion here from Crooks just because he has the mineral suspend. And maybe I'd like to see... There he goes. There are more gateways. Three or four more gateways would be great. Because he is just... He has a lot of gas and minerals stored up. I don't know what he's doing blinking up here. Oh, he spots that marine and this prevents the scouting of this uh, expansion. Expansion now going up for Spoon. Looks like mining in the natural has now resumed. However, he has no no gas on gas at all. He's not getting any gas because he has a lot of gas right here. Just now sending people into gas. And wow, what was that? 
Pot just died, I don't know what that was. Looks like we have another macro moment. We have now the one Colossus out for our Protoss player. It doesn't have extended thermal lance though. And Storm has also been researched. Looks like uh, Sc 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 Pink grabbing another expansion. And here it comes. This should be another huge engagement. A little breeze stem there from Spoon. A, a little overexcited. I'd like to see some storms. I'd like to see some storms from Pink right now. This will absolutely decimate this uh, Terran army and the a little bit of a poor, a little bit, I don't know, some poor micro there for the Templar. And oh no, here come the storms. The storms will absolutely rape this entire Terran army, and every single Marine has been killed. We only have a couple of weak Marauders left. This Colossus should go to town on every single one. And oh no, I this. That was very bad. Spoon doesn't have these guys have barely enough life. But however, he is gonna try and snipe this expansion, stimming. Not able to stim. But he wants to deal as much damage as he can to the mineral line. However, there are too many Protoss forces right here. And Pink has just catapulted himself into what I could say victory right here. One final attack from Pink will end this game. And looking back, Siege Tanks would definitely, definitely have been a help. Yes, Marine Marauder Venevac is very, very uh, useful, but producing medivacs out of one single starport. Yay! I don't know. Could have maybe made another add on right here, added one barracks, put the tech lab there, then switched the two. But you can't support a Marine Marauder army with just a starport with a single. Uh, you know, producing one medevac at a time. It looks like we have this, these three colossi here, which are very, very menacing. Looking at the amount of Terran forces on the map, and oh no, this looks like this. This, this looks like it's going to be the death push here. A little colossus micro would be nice. Uh, the colossus will be able to take out every single um, infantry unit right there, and we have a lot of Templar with a lot of storm. I say this is a little overkill here, but I would like to see the storms right here. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I'd like to see the storms wa waste away on these uh, turn units, but there you go. <laughs> uh, Spoon already GG'd, but Pink wanted to storm that army so bad. And wow. Poor guy. Look at that nice lightning effect, man. So. Cube Pink takes two games for Team Cube. The standing is now 2-0 in favor of Team Cube. Let's see what the next game has to offer. And I'm really tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dr. Jimmy out.